again. So yes, I am here at the Eiffel Tower out in Paris, France, and I am so excited about this. Yes, you can see it right behind me, and I've got some awesome science to talk to you guys about with this. So most of you guys, you know, we usually think of Paris and we right away think about the Eiffel Tower. Of course, it's the monument of Paris. But did you guys know that it actually was supposed to get torn down after only 20 years after being built? So it actually was built back in 1886. And originally it was just up just to kind of be there and then it was going to get destroyed because its purposes were no longer in use. But the designer of it, Gustave Eiffel, he convinced the government of France and told him that there's actually scientific purposes in this building. So it turns out that the tower itself from the very top has different things built into it, including a barometer to measure air pressure, including lightning rods, which are up on top to measure wind velocities to measure lightning. Also on the third floor, he ended up building a physics laboratory where he does different experiments on gravity in addition to different astronomical experiments. Now something else that's really cool is there's actually 72 names ran all across this bottom area right here of 72 different scientists. They were working in um, astronomy, physics, geology, meteorology. Gustav Eiffel had such a passion for aerodynamics and astronomy and physics that he actually decided to build the Foucault's pendulum which slides along from the base up to the second floor, which is actually still installed today. But alas, by the end of um, all the construction that was around 1905 uh, to 1906, they decided to keep the tower as mainly for the purposes of it being an antenna. So as you can see up on the top, there is still an antenna installed. And the purposes for that is telecommunications in addition to things like detecting wind speeds and as well as lightning. So it's really cool. Um, he did a numerous of aerodynamic experiments with the Eiffel Tower itself. And um, now it's just awesome. But on that note, I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit of cool history about the Eiffel Tower. And I will talk to you guys from New York. All right, bye. Bonjour. Au revoir.